Hey guys, Captain Paladin LP here. Welcome to another episode of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Old Door. The year, the Thousand Year Door. You gotta stop saying that. And the last episode, we have got, we have completed up to level 12 in the Glitz Pits ranking. And in this episode, we're gonna actually have a try and get the, get to the major league. So there's one thing I want to do right quick. Yeah, King K is gone. Well, well, Mr. Mustache, so you're a fighter now, hmm. Well, I suppose I'd cheer you from the shadows, my sweet. Alright, so basically, sorry for the long pause there. I was kind of wondering where everything was, but... Yeah, in this episode, we're actually going to go ahead and get to the Major Leagues. So, let's go ahead and start our next battle here. And this, we'll go ahead and reserve a match. Well, boy, how did Gonzalez fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. The next opponent will be ranked 11th in the Glitz Pit. The Ba-Bomb Squad. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least once. These fans get these, these fans will eat up stuff up eats that stuff up. Alright, that even makes sense to me. A little grain standard from the hero and they go nuts. Now get in there and give them a riled up son. Alright, so basically we now have to go and use our appeal just one time. So it's pretty easy. We're gonna keep Go Goombella going. Actually we're gonna actually go switch to fl flurry for just this one t instance. So let's go ahead and go. For our next battle, we've got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bomb Boomers. Yep, the fight with the finish with the B Bomb Squad. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have advice. Just give up now. B Bomb, B Bomb. Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Appeal to the crowd at least once. So let's go ahead and just do that, huh? Let me get the crowd wild up. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap partner. Go to Goombella and have her identify. Let's see here. That's a bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. Attack speed is four. Attack is two. Defense is one. The bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. They just let uh, have shoot super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge, explode in the next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and it's, if it's mad, it'll blow up the slightest contact. So don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard like a shell. Yeah. And if you do a super guard, that will probably make you even more mad. So, like that, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead, switch back to Flurry. I probably should have put my... Uh, I'm going to have to get Koops, I'm sorry. Flurry, you're not going to be able to do this. Um, the Shell Toss. Power shell. Oh, that made it mad. That, that even more mad. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that was kind of stupid, but it we it worked. All right. So the, the bomb, the bomb squad is done. We went cool. So now. With that out of the way, you know what it's time for, guys. Now things get serious. Wait for this scene to go away. It's quite lonely without King King around, but -bon. no lonely. Him too weak. Now not him not. Now him not here. Sound normal to Clefter. You're a bomb denial, Clefter. I saw you weeping in that locker. Ba -bon, ba -bon. So basically, we got a newcomer here, it looks like it. Right this way, sir. 
Right this way, Sir Swoop. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer ter terminal here. Mr. Grubbit will then decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and lock in with A. Then pick your reserve a match. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. In the first battle, it's going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mopping up. Okay, son. Hey, and we want to get the crowd fired up to so do a... Do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. Got any questions about the detail rules? Just ask me, lovely Miss Julene. Okay, son? Well, good luck, part. So basically, she's explaining to the rules to a newcomer now that King K is now gone. So basically... Yeah, it's basically, she's just re-explaining the rules again. It's really nothing. There's really nothing new to hear to say. So, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Swoop. Sir Swoop. I mean, nice to meet you. You, yeah, you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. So basically, he starts his out as number 20. So, now let's go ahead and recharge, because we're going to need to. But I think in the coming, we're going to go back outside, so I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys outside, because I want to get some items. Because we're going to need some items for the next area. Alright, so let's go ahead and head on out of here. And let's head to the item shop. Well, as you may well know, I am finished with my paper. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to need... We're going to need Earthquake back. I want to try getting using a, another Power Punch. So that will probably fill us up on items for now. We're not yet used one yet. Alright, guys. Here we go. Now we're heading to the major leagues. Now, this first battle against the major league. Word of caution. Do not, I repeat, do not expect to win this first round with the armored harriers, which is next. Because we want to, here's why. Well, because let's go ahead and bring out Goombella. She will explain everything as this continues here. Welcome to the automated welcome to the automated match reserve system. What is your command? Reserve a match. All right. Well, dog my cats. If it ain't good, great Gonzalez fixed for a fight, huh? Hi, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we! You're gonna love this. Your next appointment is rank tenth in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers. That's right. You're darn tootin'. You're gonna make a go at the major league, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't get letting us down now. Now, listen, son. In this battle, I want you to get at least one special move. All right? The crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift? Give him a good show. Now, get in there and blow the roof off, son. All right. Now you get to the part where winning the first time winning the first time is it going to be a priority. So, here we go. This is round 1 of 2. And now, today's main event. The Major League awaits the 11th, 11th rank, Great Gonzalez. But only if you can beat the 10th rank powerhouses, the Iron Ad Adonis Twins. 
first, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The great Gonzalez. Hey, the great Gonzalez, how are you feeling? Let's go. Whoa, Nelly, you heard that fella folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up, son. But here we go. Good gravy. Iron them out. Whoa, those spikes legal? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yeah, your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis wins, he said, more like a paper dog face, bros. And they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, and then he said, out of belly buttons and running their family in stink wads. And so on. Yep. What? Which is even true. How does that... How do you know... How does he know Mom has an outie? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up in the smoothie, pal. And we're gonna drink ya. That's what... She said? And one more thing. Only the smelly stink wads call other people stink wads. Understand stink wad? Simmer down there, bro. You stink wad. You're going to regret opening your yap, pal. Seeing those bods, solid iron. And those spikes, yeah. They penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is... Whatever you try, you can be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with your functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Here we go. Mini boss time. Alright, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna make Major League give win. Get sight, Mario. <laughs> give up now. You stinkwads, you're about to learn our skills the hard way. So, we're about to do. I'm going to use their tremor. Because I said so. That'll probably be the best thing. Oh, crap. No, that didn't even work, but it's not going to matter anyway. And that didn't even affect them. That... Oh, I got it. Thank you. Alright. So basically, tattle. Here we go. That's an iron cleft. This guy's scary, period. HXP is 6. Attack is 4. And defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against the iron clefts. It says nothing in the world as hard as iron clefts, so defense is impenetrable. That's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. So. I didn't even put it in my, um. So basically, there's nothing we can do here. So the only thing we can do is run away. That's about the only thing we can do. And we got ourselves the winner, the Urban Harriers. <laughs> How do you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come back, punk. So, basically we lost, but we getting... We still win fight money. But it's not as much as you think. We only get one coin. We still remain at 11 because we only fought the person above us and not below us. So basically, here was the story twist. Hey, check it out! Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy went up, took off to? Yo! It's a little orange Yoshi. Aww. A red Yoshi, if you want to call it. Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound! Thanks, man! What? You were in that cute little eggy wiggy! Whoa, that's wild! Yeah, but who cares? You know, the guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it when I was in that egg! Yeah! Anyway, I gotta repair you for saving me in that old hoggle out in there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? 
Let's see. I just come out of the egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. So, no, he does not have a name yet. You seem fired about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? I'm gonna call that a light... Light red. Because here's why. I had this one planned out from the beginning. And the only way... <laughs> I knew I was doing this right from the beginning. But... I'm going to name it Seamus. Seamus. Any objectives? Objections? Hold on, I'm just getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Alright. Shame. Yep, that is... Alright, yeah, that is right. I just I also checked to see if that was the correct spelling. But yes, here we are. And if you're watching, I'm sorry. What? what is, who is this? Calling me. Okay, so... Now that we have named... Our Yoshi. And we're gonna name it Seamus. Hmm, Seamus, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez. Let's get out there and do some damage. And Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Seamus. Yeah, right. So, this Yoshi you can um, ride as any normal Yoshi. No pun intended. So basically, you can, he'll run a lot faster if you're float briefly in the air. So basically, you can do fl sh sh small flutters, but he, he can get you to some places where you couldn't get before. So in battle, he can bounce on his enemies using the ground pound, or you can use a gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. So... Now that we got him, I am going to go ahead and reserve the match, and we're going to call it an episode. Well, we reserve the match, we're going to fight it, and then we're going to call it the episode after we get done with more cutscenes. So let's go ahead and get it done. So we're going to have to reserve the match. Basically, he says the same thing. So he wants us to appeal the crowd to at least once. So that's fine, because that's the only thing I'm going to be able to do. I want to also get my badges back in alignment. Put the song of spot, and I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, piercing Blow. So now that we have a new friend here, you're going to need him. And for one reason only. Well, for the ex for one reason only for this particular battle. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of Great Gonzalez and the Iron Adonis Twins. Yep, a fight finished with the Armored Harriers. You think you could take me and Gonzalez? Ha! These Ultra Hard Boss just can't lose. Get, all right, so here we go. Round two. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punk set this time. <laughs> Stinkwad challenges again. He never learns. Looks like we brought some new shrimpy partner. As if he's gonna help them. Well, maybe so. We'll do our appeal. This one requires flower points, but it will work. Yep, and you can gulp him. And then you just threw. Yow! He spiked me right in the. That really hurt. Our iron bodies are pointing nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dang, bro. He has discovered our weak points. So, basically, we found his 
weakness. He just took some life out of me, but I am just going to go do an appeal again. Replenish my star power. And use the gulp again. Just swallow him up and just spit him out. That's all you got to do. Ten star points, just like that. Do we have to go back to the muttering now, bro? I think I'm going to be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez. You win. You made it to the Major League. Now that, folks, that was a cool call. A, a wild and wiggly fight. A dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell. Woo-wee. Come on now, folks. Give it up. We really have a new Major Leaguer. Let's hear it for him. So basically now, we are into the serious part of the chapter now. Now that we've completed basically the first, maybe a third of it. Because now this is where the chapter gets a little interesting. We're in number rank number 10 now. So now we gotta talk to Mr. Grubba now. Mr. Grubba, I brought Mr. Gonzalez, as you requested. M -m Mr. Lee, mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry about it, you pretty little head. About it, none. Now, what do I want again? Something about Gonzalez? Oh, yeah! Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League and all already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckuses on them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something for you. Go on, take it. So basically, we got 30 coins. Pretty darn good. So yeah, something else has been on my mind. Your custom ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become a champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink. Maybe something with frills on something. You'll look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, Pard. Take a powder, okay? So, basically, he gave us some coins for our reward to meet your leagues. So now we're now in the Major League room. And... This is the Major League room, locker room. You'll use this room from this moment on. The match system will same as minor league, but the bouts are a lot harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, will you excuse me? I must be going now. <coughs> so basically, you got some new enemies here to deal with, and we will be dealing with them. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Oh, here we go. Suddenly, guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rise and start tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill. Skinning a mustache ma named Mar Gonzalez. Not Mario. <laughs> Man, I'll come this way for you. For you? Ha, ha, ha. What a waste of time. Oh. Huh? What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt. What in the... Hey, you! Get too close to the rock. Hawk, and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. It's fake. Hey, you think you just... Uh, sm just smack talk the rock, Hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling me a belt. My belt... A fake, you shrimpy, but not... No belt having whips. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bag belt, man. <laughs> Stop making fun of me, punk. You're only you're alive only because we're in the ring right now. But I see you under those lights. I tell you apart, remember? Rawr, the rock! So basically, he's the champ. Well, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If the dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where's the heck is the real one at? Oh. Gonzalez, was that your 
Mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get the email from? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like a man to see about the crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? The whole deal seems kind of whack. So, apparently, we did, in addition to being promoted in this, um, Let's Pet, someone has information about the Crystal Star. And it, was, it turned out that we went to this, um, through this for absolutely nothing. Kind of unfortunate. But, you know, what can we do? But I, it's already going on 25 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Just for the sake that, um, it's getting too long. I'm kind of wondering if there is a star piece in here. I'm kind of concerned about that. Alright. You get trapped in the locker, but I think... Oh, there's a nice storm. Alright. Let's just throw that one away. Tasty tonic. I didn't know that was there. All right. Well, yeah, I think we'll call it an episode here. In the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the plot has just definitely got interesting. We have not yet figured out what is going on here yet, but apparently Rock Hop does not have the Crystal Star. So, to be continued, this has been Captain Pelinel Peace signing off. Have a good night, folks.